Hello everyone, let's talk about replication factor and search factor in Splunk. Alright, uh, replication factor and search factor are you know pretty much uh, important concepts in Splunk. Alright, if you if you see here there are two sites, uh, site 1 and uh, uh, site 2 where uh, uh, you know it's uh, as like you know multi-site uh, cluster that you have if I if I say you know there are two sites and generally uh, you know replication factor and search factor uh, will be you know coming into picture uh, uh, in the clusters uh, environment right so uh, in Splunk we have uh, index clustering and uh, search head clustering right so majorly you will uh, you know give the replication factor and search factor in the cluster environment right based on the uh, requirement and um, as, the, as the site suggests and you have you know search head uh, you know the uh, number of search heads and also you have uh, the license uh, you know server which is uh, you know inbuilt for these two uh, sites all right so similarly if you if we just uh, you know show exactly uh, only for the uh, you know the search at clustering it will be something like this right where you will have uh, you know forwarders with uh, the load balancing and uh, also you know the uh, you have a search head right if you can if you can see here in the cluster uh, manage your node and you also have this you know search at three uh, peer nodes and replication factor is a three here now let me give you uh, exact idea what uh, the uh, replication factor and search factor is uh, no, um, this is uh, a very very important uh, concept when it comes to uh, interviews as well okay uh, let me just tell you I'm gonna try and give you the uh, you know, definition for both replication factor and search factor and where do we use that right okay so what I will do is yeah is uh, you know replication factor is nothing but uh, total number of copies okay total uh, number of copies okay uh, that uh, the system determines right total number of copies that the system determines is called uh, replication factor okay so same uh, replication factor same thing you can also say uh, like a total number of copies uh, you know that the cluster maintains okay uh, you can call it as a replication factor okay so this is what uh, you know you can you can just uh, represent yourself uh, this way when you're talking about uh, the replication factor now the default uh, you know uh, default replication factor would be 3 replication factor is three. Again, this is also a really important uh, you know um, uh, this will be asked in the interviews as well what is the replication factor and search factor and uh, what is the default uh, number that you can give for the replication factor and search factor okay so this is what replication factor is okay you can say uh, replication factor is nothing but uh, the total number of copies of copies uh, that the you know cluster maintains okay you can uh, call it as a replication factor okay now uh, as i was talking about uh, this uh, you know the uh, clustering right so replication factor by default three in the search head clustering now one more point is that uh, you know uh, we have index clustering and search head clustering right uh, in search head clustering you need to meet only replication factor value okay uh, when you when you are uh, working on a search head clustering you need to define only replication factor you don't define uh, search factor in search head clustering okay that is uh, one more point that you'll have to understand okay so this is what uh, replication factor is uh, you know uh, uh, we can define replication factor this way and uh, uh, what about the search factor okay so give me a minute so now oh, you can say uh, search factor is nothing but okay uh, search factor almost the same almost uh, you'll define search factor also uh, in the similar manner search factor is nothing but uh, total okay number 
total number of immediately total number of immediately searchable copies that the system determines is called search factor if you if you uh, you know see the difference replication factor is a total number of copies that the system determines whereas search factor total number of immediately searchable copies okay so very next searchable copies of that particular index right so immediately searchable copies that the system determines is called replication factor okay immediately searchable copies that the cluster maintains okay you can call it as a search factor now search factor is by default two search factor two by default okay so you have to remember uh, what is the default search factor and what is the default replication factor now the question is can i change the uh, default uh, replication factor and search factor values yes you can change uh, you know these numbers based on your requirement but when uh, how it is and it is it all depends on the uh, uh, your requirement and uh, uh, you know you, you you can change these numbers based on your requirement so this is the uh, understanding about replication factor and search factor okay now when you uh, work in the system okay how, how does the replication factor and search factor looks like right where you will give that so something like uh, uh, this is where you will you will see uh, replication factor and search factor so how do you come to the screen uh, we all know right in splunk you have settings when you click on settings you click on index clustering you will see uh, one of the you know component uh, one of the uh, uh, option you can call it as right you can just click on uh, index clustering and when you click on index clustering you will see these numbers master node configuration where you will you will see uh, replication factor and the search factor right so uh, this is uh, this is how you uh, give your values this is again uh, depending on the uh, work that you're doing but uh, the point here this is where you will see replication factor and search factor and you can update the numbers over here all right now uh, similarly once i update uh, there uh, this is where you, you know numbers will be reflecting okay so uh, this is also again uh, in the uh, you know page uh, where you will see all the replication factor and search factor right so the final numbers uh, you know the uh, replication factor and search factor is it met or not okay this is where you see uh, all data is searchable or not this is uh, you know index clustering Okay, master node uh, the, uh, the same place where i was talking about right in settings you will have index clustering and uh, after you updated uh, the values here uh, in search it uh, in replication factor and search factor you will see the final uh, you know values here and uh, also uh, the default indexes that we have right uh, you can see in the bottom index name audit index okay uh, and you have replication factor test and replix so uh, whatever the index that we have created with the replication factor right it is also reflecting here and it is showing the searchable copies data as well right if you can see the first one fully searchable whereas three copies searchable and replication uh, replicated data is also three copies right and buckets uh, 22 and then you'll see the uh, you know um, cumulative uh, raw data so uh, so this is how you will see the you know, uh, data in the uh, replication factor and search factor when you are checking that numbers right and also internal uh, fully searchable and uh, searchable data copies again here also it is three and replication uh, replicated data is also three so this is how you uh, you know see the values of replication factor and search factor and uh, this is how you define these uh, values okay so uh, this is again a very very important uh, concept uh, when it comes to uh, you know interviews also so uh, if you can just have this uh, you know handy it will be easy for you to answer in the interviews as well so that's all i have uh, in this video or oh, i will uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching